Today, we'll learn how to connect your gaming steering wheel to the EMC utility software. You may already know that there are two versions of this, but we are going to test the EMC Lite version. This can be downloaded for free. If you want the pro version, you can go to that EMC development Facebook page and chat with him, and he will give you the PayPal link to donate. After you donate, he gives you a link to download the pro version. I will bring a separate video about the EMC pro version in the future. And one more thing to say to you about my video description. In every video I upload, many details are included in the description, like links, measurements, and things that were forgotten to be mentioned in the video. So please check it. Okay, let's get started. First download this zip file from the description, then extract it. Now go to the utility folder and install the EMC. Then connect your Arduino to the PC. Go to the X loader. Select the firmware file. Choose your device. Now click the Arduino reset button and select the new COM number, then upload it. Now we have to change the wiring a bit. First, according to this diagram, the pedals should be connected in order. Secondly, the wiring related to the motor driver should be changed like this. I take two female jumper cables and one male jumper cable and connect them together like this. Now I fix the wiring. Well, now open EMC. Change the steering angle to 900 degrees. Now go to the settings. Here you have to enter the CPR value of the encoder. The CPR of an encoder is the encoder's PPR multiplied by 4. For example, I have a 600 PPR encoder. Multiplying its PPR value by 4 gives CPR as 2400. So I put a CPR value of 2400. Then choose the 2 PWM plus 1 direction. Now go to the pedal section. Click the accelerator min button. Then push the gas pedal all the way down and hold. Now click the max button. The same thing for the other two. If you have a handbrake, you can calibrate it here. Now go to the force section. Increase this all as you want. Now you are done with calibrating your wheel. Let's test it. So go to the extracted file and open the wheel check application. Now check your force feedback working probably. If your wheel is not centered, Move the wheel to the center position and click the center button. With everything set up, let's launch a game and see how the steering wheel performs. So I try with ETS2. Go to the control settings. Select the keyboard plus EMC. Now apply wheel and pedal settings. I increase the engine vibration a bit to show you how force feedback works. 
So you can see, force feedback, working now. You can see the steering wheel shaking because of the engine vibration. Okay, let's talk about EMC a bit. The first thing, it feels different with the wheel config. I mean, it's not bad, but it's different. And there is another important thing. You cannot use the H shift through the EMC Lite version. All these can be used through the EMC Pro version only. I will bring a separate video about that and the problems I experienced here. If you have faced any problems while using this software, then please post a comment. At the end of the game, something happened like this. But FFB is still working. I don't know what happened. If you also have faced like this problems, please leave a comment below. I will test further and bring a video about this. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and gaming content.